<laughs> Kyle's going to the ballet, bro. Bro, a lot of people actually wear these. <laughs> if your waist begins with a two, eat. What's going on guys? I'm Josh from Colossus and our mission is to do the impossible these next six weeks. We've got a powerlifting comp coming up in June, so pretty soon, but we also want to lose some pounds, look shredded, and just kill it out there. We want to be overall athletes. We want to do the impossible, which is to cut and gain strength, and we're going to show you how to do it. This is going to be our chest workout for this strong and shredded series. It's going to be unreal. Think of your football player, they're out there, they can bench a ton, but they're also fast, effective, and agile, and that's our goal. So Kyle's just about to do his five minute boxing warm up. Basically just get the blood flowing and uh, yeah. First things first, we're gonna jump into the classic 225 challenge. We're gonna see how many reps we can get. We're not too concerned on form. We're mainly focused on power and explosiveness. Let's get into it. Done. That was kind of just for fun, but once again, it had its purpose. We're trying to get used to this copious amounts of volume before we get back to our candido, which does start high volume. But now, usually for things like this, when you're trying to get power and agility together, you're going to try to get some form of cardio or hit in. Now, because the chest is such a small muscle, that's hard. We're going to do Tabata with the bench press. All right, it's time to confuse the body. Right, babe? Right, babe? So basically, as you guys can see me doing now, I'm doing 20 seconds of a set, so eight reps at 30% of my one rep max. This is gonna be really hard. And Kyle's gonna count me down for 10. I'm gonna do this five times for a total of four minutes. Uh. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. So this kind of goes against our training philosophy, which is very disciplined. We try to lift nice and heavy, but here we're, uh, like college said, we got to shock the body a bit. We're switching it up on our off week, we like to decimate ourselves with volume, really get a different feel. Really recommend this but, uh, workout for anyone who's trying to lose weight, gain a bit of strength. Football players, you're going to be nice and tired, so I certainly, certainly advocate that you guys carb up before. As you can see, I am literally dying here, and I barely, barely make my last rep. It was a grind, but it's worth it. I'm sweating now as I'm recording this. It's brutal. Yo, this was coming off. I just realized. It. So as you guys can see, that's brutal. Feel my sweat coming on. That's because of excess overconsumption of oxygen for your body. That is the hit effect, the thermogenic effect. We're basically just get your heart rate up and down, up and down, shocking your body, sucking all the oxygen it can to fuel those muscles. And you'll be sweating after, you'll be tired after. For the rest of our workout, this puts us in a good state where we're nice and tired. Eight. Yo, 
this is a big weight, bro. How would you say that was? Bro, best jump, best chest pump I've ever had. <laughs> so generally, Tabata. Um, oh, worst. Look at that pump, bro. <laughs> so generally, Tabata with weights isn't recommended. It's usually for cardio, but uh, because we're trying to get a crazy amount of volume in and because we have a spotter, we decided to go ahead and do it. It's really awesome for squats as well. Maybe we'll show you guys a, work, uh, a video of us doing it in a workout, but try this out. All right, so at this point, it's time just to do some heavy single arm movement. We're gonna kind of isolate both the arms, let them do their own load, make sure we're not overcompensating. We're going real heavy, 120. So much volume, it's kind of hard to lift strong, but that's the point. You came to do this. Although it is chest day, one thing you want to make sure is you're maintaining good posture and not rounding your back. Oh, this is heavy. So now we're just at your average plate loaded hammer strength machine and we're just going to work on isolating one arm movements, so one pectoral at a time, really just work on that explosion. We don't care too much here about building our muscles, we're more so just focusing on that strength and explosiveness and the size will come with that. Sure, we can move weight, but can we use our body to our advantage? So we're gonna start off with some chest dips. Josh did like a hybrid between tricep and chest. I'm gonna be leaning forward to target the chest area, and then we're gonna actually do some push-ups um, and work on our stability with the TRX. It's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be worth it. Let's go. 